Rachel Wynn is the executive director of Nissan Future Lab. So my first question is an easy one, Rachel. What the heck is Future Lab? Future Lab is a group that studies really what's going on in the industry. There's so much disruption, and we felt a couple of years ago when we started the team that it was important to look um, outside the industry more, work more externally with partners, and um, understand how that's going to affect our business um, now into the future, especially with some of the important technologies coming online, connected car, autonomous vehicle, uh, electric vehicles as our, as our main platform. You brought a little car here too. Tell the audience what that's all about. Yeah, it's our Nissan new mobility concept. It's a micro mobility category, tandem two seater. We have it um, in a mobility service provider in San Francisco called Scoot Networks. They call them quads there, and we are researching how people would use it inside that kind of dense city car sharing model. So it's a, a car sharing model, mm -hmm. and uh, based on the, the Renault Twizy as mm -hmm. well. Exactly, yeah. You're presenting here at the Management Briefing Seminars mm -hmm. Conference. What's your presentation going to be about? Mainly about what we do in Future Lab, which is to study the um, changing ownership structures, um, markets for new automotive technology, um, and also um, how we do that kind of work. What is the kind of innovation that we're doing? And we're using our partnership with Scoot to describe the kinds of things we're studying, the kind of data that we look at, and kind of findings that we get from that. What's Future Lab think in terms of, you know, are people going to continue buying cars or are they going to buy their mobility in the future? Yeah, I mean, we think it's going to fragment. Uh, I think it's, it, there is a number of customers that are looking for new options. Uh, for mobility, different ownership structures. So the question is really more of when is it going to really take off and to be ready for that. Nissan has said that it's going to have a full line of fully autonomous cars by 2020. Is the company still sticking to that or has it got a little bit more nuance to that statement? Yes, no, it is 10 vehicles across the Alliance by 2020 uh, in terms of our autonomous technology deployment. Are you talking NHTSA Level 3 cars or NHTSA Level 4, fully autonomous? Uh, I think that is uh, our Level 3 by mm -hmm. 2020. And when you mentioned the Alliance, of course, you're mentioning Renault and Nissan together mm -hmm. working on this. Yes. Ten cars in a little over four years is a pretty ambitious project. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I mean, the technology has been studied and been working on for, for a number of years. I think more of what we're doing now is the kind of work that we're doing in Future Lab is to understand where are the markets for it going to to evolve. So obviously um, a personal vehicle ownership is one kind of application and then what are the other ways to deploy and what kind of vehicles come for that I think is kind of the new frontier for us. The whole ride sharing, car sharing, mobility services concept is still so much in its infancy. How do you project out where it may go when things are really kind of in a state of turmoil yet? Yeah, I mean, that's the purpose of what we're doing with Scoot Networks, is to really be on the ground, uh, inside, seeing what consumers are doing, what the end user is doing, and understanding how things fit into that system, to be able to see if there's a need that you're tapping into that will grow. So it's really hard to predict otherwise. It's really hard to forecast those mm -hmm. kinds of things. So it's important to be in and, and demonstrating things to learn. And yet the growth seems just astronomical when you look at some of the services that yeah. are out there. You must be really excited by what you're finding, I would yeah. imagine. Yeah, and I think it's going to come down to what works best for different customers. So a lot of what we do is think about the customer um, and understand how consumer behavior will change. Um, like when you put a Nissan New Mobility concept in a place like San Francisco, with all those different options, what happens? Does mm -hmm. behavior change? What are, their, what are they um, substituting for different kinds of modes? Those are all the things that are, are part of what helps us to predict what's going to happen. Well, good. Rachel Wynn, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed what Future Lab's all about at Nissan. Thank you. For the people at Dow, racing is a sport and a science. We enjoy one and learn from the other. But like most competitive people, we like winning at both. Working together, scientists and racing technicians study the impact of new lightweight materials. We look back and learn, so we understand a little better what's on the road ahead. This is the human element at work, Dow.